I'm still here and I'm still fabulous. Right? Fabulous. Going with the wind, fabulous. Okay? Thank you. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, and to my left, we have the one and only Kenya Moore. I'm going with the wind, Tagless. Hey, hey, yes. hey, hey, girl, hey. Candy, yeah. <laughs> so I am super excited to have you back because the fans have been wanting you back on Speak I will for come. A like, literally, I just got back in from LA, and I'm like, you know what? You asked me, I'm like, I'm there. I am tired as hell, but I am here. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Last season, we were planning to have you come in at the end, and then the yeah, with your guy, the one that you said wanted to meet me. Yeah, a <laughs> one. Where he, are you? He absolutely loves you. He gonna be so mad that we I'm got here and here. you're not here. What's up with that? <laughs> well, we finally got you here. This time, we decided. We would love to have you here at the beginning of the season and then to okay. come back at the end of the season. Gotcha. So you can say your feelings on the later episodes. Okay. But you get to speak on today. Yes. You, you had a lot to say. Because they have been episode. talking a lot of crap about me in this episode, trying to Ooh. vilify me Ooh. when I know I am right. Okay, listen to this though. What? I, what did you think about the crap that Sheree was saying online the other day? Oh, girl, between the KFC and then. <laughs> yes. Well, no, she started with you first. Oh, she did start with what? What was she saying? Because she, I didn't um, see those well, two. okay, so we're talking about Sheree has been very um, she's b- talkative very on Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter. So yeah. if y'all haven't been watching the live tweets. Um, a lot of times we, we live tweet during the show, you yeah. know, with the fans while we're watching the show. So, Sheree had a lot to say. She always has a lot to say. Normally, it's with Drew. Normally, yes. she and Drew go back and forth, back and forth. Like, they are up until, like, 5 o'clock in the morning tweeting each other. <laughs> they <laughs> are. Because both of them be with the Twitter, the Twitter <laughs> fingers. But, I mean, I was feeling like, this is episode one. Why are we going so hard? I have no idea. And Sheree and I are cool. We just did a press tour together. Mm-hmm. I was just on Watch What Happens Live, and I said all kind of nice things about Sheree. Mm-hmm. So, clearly, you know, we I thought we were good. She and I both saw the episode before mm-hmm. we did the press tour. So, it's like, we didn't have any tension. Mm-hmm. But then the episode airs, and then she has all this smoke for me. Right. I was like, okay. All right, girl. So the whole thing about she was like um, mad because I said something about the she man comment or whatever, mm-hmm. and I was like Sheree because you're strong as f. Like, have you seen your? Oh, arms? she said something to you about yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, why would you be bothered by that? You like are the strongest person on the cast. Like your arms, everything. It wasn't an insult. She's strong. Nah. I didn't mean it as an insult. I really. Child, did. that was shade. It can be <laughs> when shade. I heard it, I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't Ooh. think it was Shay. Okay, I was she, like, man. girl, those muscles, I don't want any other, I don't want any part of those muscles. Hey, <laughs> I hear you, child. Yeah, but she was saying something about you and a rent man or something. Girl, is she really, that is so tired and old. Like, really, you got to go back seven, eight years for that joke? <laughs> that was season one for me. Yeah. You want back 11 years. <laughs> And I'm still fabulous. Right. And then she hit me with the... Um, and everybody, by the way, is saying that Martell and she are using each other for publicity. So who's renting who? Mm. Mm. Who's renting who? Because well, who gonna rent me, boo? Right. Who gonna rent me, boo? <laughs> <laughs> Let's act like we, 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 we just getting caught by paparazzi. In, In a random park. By Freddy. My Freddie O just happens to be somewhere where we are. It wasn't even like you were in Piedmont Park where, you know, right. somebody would randomly. Just taking a photo. But she out in a random park. You out in a random park. By her park. house. Girl, <laughs> Where stop. Freddie O just happened to be popping by. Yeah, so. You're right. Yeah, I mean, you know, gotta do something to get, get to our level. <laughs> I do something, child. Well, you know, she loved to talk about how we are not, we are not OGs, honey. We are not OGs. Oh, so. but we are, we have been on the show much longer than her, though. That is true. I'm 11, well, I'm 10, I'm 11 years in, but 10 seasons. Mm-hmm. And, and you 14 are 14. Seasons. And mm-hmm. she is maybe six. It's all she had four, then she was there a year, right? And then she left, she got fired, and then she came back peachless. And then, and then the next year she got a peach, so. Oh, wow, I didn't realize it. Be, yeah. Okay. Maybe six or seven. Now, why do we? Why do we? You can't go, take away the fact that she is you, an OG, though. Now you, she is an OG. You know, Kenya Moore be knowing her. Facts, but she buddy. is the most fired housewife. <gasps> she is though. I'm not trying to throw shade. Like, is I, she? Who else? 
Oh, any fired other twice. franchise or just on Atlanta? Who else has been fired? Well, let me not say fired. Who else? Let me just stop. I'm not trying to come for shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that smoke, girl. I actually really love Sheree. I, I do too. I'm Which just makes like, it hard. Yeah, it makes, it, 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 makes it hard. It makes it hard because it's like, you know, we do this show. Uh-huh. And then, like, she's throwing smoke online. I'm like, why are you coming for me, girl? I like you. Like, we exactly. don't have a problem. Exactly. Because that's why I was like, I mean, honestly, when I saw the her her post and she was like, um, Do you used to be community pussy. Whatever she was trying to say about me. Well, why are you talking? Mm. Now, I, I really wanted to go super hard. Mm-hmm. But I decided instead of going hard on her just yes. yet. Yes. It's only episode one. Right. It's I was coming. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, keep on. I'm, I'm going to. Uh-huh. Delete, 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 to go into yeah, it like that. Yeah, I was that. like, why is she doing all this? Like, a few little comments. I was like, okay, if she thought that was shade, I can see her saying something else. It wasn't really a big deal. Like, mm-hmm. I don't feel like she hit below the belt, so it's fine. You don't think community pussy was calling me community pussy? Well, I'm talking about me. I ain't oh, talking about you. You. <laughs> you a whole murdered woman right now. You know, you've been in this 10 years, and you talking about some silly stuff like that. Like, that was unnecessary. So, this episode was... Pretty much a continuance from yes. the ending of the la- of episode one. So right. top of episode two, we kind of really went into your um, <sighs> back and forth. Go, go to right wait, now. Oh, 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 wait, 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 you talking about me? I'm just saying. It ended on last week's episode. Ended on me and Bobblehead going back and forth. Ah, <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> cause I said, calm the <laughs> <up."> <laughs> yeah. think when you watch that by the way i mean it's clear she came on to try to get a peach and she was doing too much and she just made something out of zero like it was zero it was so yeah, stupid i didn't even understand what was happening when it was happening <laughs> and I then i was like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute this girl's trying to check me right right <laughs> i was like wait what is that somebody ran to me it was like candy's in the pot i was like where is she with who and I love the fact that you you did come and you tried. I was like, oh no, honey, oh no. What we will not do is come for Miss Burris Tucker, honey. I love that. Not I in my presence. I appreciated that. You just missed it. Yeah. Courtney and Candy. Yeah. Candy is about to fight her. You know, you guys had came to the rescue. Everybody yes. was trying to talk me into calming down or yes. whatever. And then, of course, the rest of the group here they come. We start into the conversation about Martel. Well, actually, that conversation was already happening because. Yeah. You kind of was explaining to Sheree what was said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just to give it briefly to the people that did not get to hear it, yes. what exactly happened from your point of view? Okay, so this is the part that people don't know. So, my, Martel, what's his Martel. name? Martel. Martel. <laughs> Ball head, chocolate, peanut head. He was on a blog or a blog site and... I remember they they were talking about him saying all kind of negative things and there was something he said about him being a, a father or something and I responded on the blog by saying well you know he's a good father you know you got to give him credit for that mm-hmm. I have a soft spot for people who are good fathers obviously you know the things that I'm going through you know I was like well you know at least he's trying to be there so then on the blog he responded to my comment on the blog Mm-hmm. Right? So I'm like, okay. He Which like, is what he's referring to in the DM when he said, thank you for your kind words. Right, but he had already said that on the blog. So mm-hmm. I already knew that he said it. So then he went a step farther and DM'd me. And I didn't know what the DM was, but I'm like, wait a minute. I already said what I had to say about you, dude. I'm not trying to flirt with you. I'm not trying mm-hmm. to continue this conversation. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. So let's just leave it like that. So that's why I never answered the DM because I was like, I don't want him to think that mm-hmm. I'm trying to be receptive if, if he is trying to holler. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I just left it at that. I never opened it. Okay. So to get clarity and understanding, was that the only, that was the DM that he said or 
tried to show you at that point. Mm -hmm. Was that the DM that you saw before or was there a separate DM where he said something? No, I don't know because I saw that it was like, I feel like it was more than one. Mm -hmm. And I didn't open them because I'm like, I'm not going to accept any messages. It was like messages. Okay. You know, so I was like, yeah. I'm not going to accept this because I don't know, you know, I don't know what I'm doing on social media. Mm -hmm. I'm the worst. And I was mm -hmm. like, mm, I'm not going to go down this road because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm not going to try to give him the wrong idea okay. all right so what we happened? know <laughs> what, happened, what was said <laughs> well no 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 i'm not i'm not trying to tell you what happened because i don't know what the dm said no, i didn't I'm, say right what well, he I was said. trying to say he never dm'd me yeah yeah i was like oh yes the hell you did so to be clear everyone he was when they first started going back into come back and forth he was like, he never DM'd her. Yeah, he's like, no, I I'm never like, did. I never DM'd, but she lying on me. Yeah, General, I'm, yeah I'm denying. I don't know oh, you. Okay, oh. Like, I'm like, no, I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie on you. Can, 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 this yours? You, you but you didn't even try to make it was like it was that big of a right, deal. Right, I was just like, it's no big deal. I was like, and this is the part that you didn't see. I was like, it's not a big deal. I would told Sheree in confidence. You should know that he did slide into my DMs before. Let me see it. I was like, when you guys were just casually dating, it was cute. I didn't have anything to say because y'all were just casually dating. Mm -hmm. Then when you walked into the party arm in arm, I've never seen them out together. Why is he here? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, is this official now? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, and then I even asked you guys, I was like, well, should I tell her? Do I have a duty to tell her as my friend? As a friend, I just want somebody to be honest with me. I don't want him saying something Mm -hmm. and making it be something different. You know how guys will put a twist on, oh yeah, she was trying to talk to me. We, we were deep. She was well, DMing similar me. similar to what he said, you probably accept everybody Exactly. Go to her messages right now and see, I bet she probably accepted everybody's message. Yeah. So I'm like, no, I'm going to tell her first because I don't know what he's over there saying and I need to be completely transparent with mm -hmm. someone I feel is my friend. Okay, so to be clear, the reason why I thought that it was kind of like weird was because, yes, yeah, she said that he sent her a DM, right? When we all looked at Kenya Moore's DMs and mm -hmm. pulled his name up, yeah, she immediately searched his name I searched I his really name and her DMs. So if you have, if anybody has Instagram or if you don't have Instagram, let me explain to you how it works. If you receive a DM message from someone who you are not following, you have to hit accept or decline to... Yes open it or yes. whatever but you can see part of the message from my daughter blaze's page blaze wasn't following brooklyn yet ace is so don't y'all try to make nothing <laughs> of it the message is from november 21st but blaze isn't following brooklyn so it says accept delete or block so even though Blaze has not accepted the message. She can still see, see the message. See that they're trying to DM you. You have you to can actually it. see part of the yes. message. Yes. Come okay. on with the receipts. Come on with the so, receipts. So at some point, <laughs> she did see something in exactly. her thing. She sent Blaze another message. So now you see two messages. She says, hey girl. And it's the old message as well. You see? Can you see both messages in the thing? Blaze still has not accepted it, but she can see the message. Okay. Delete just the hey girl. You no longer see the hey girl, but you only see the old message. So, and, and Blaze cannot change it because she's not accepted the message. So, Blaze didn't do it. Only she could do it on her end because yes. she was the one that was sending the message. It's so, an unsend. You can unsend the message. Right. He, he had to unsend it, it for me not to be able to see it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. She can delete one message that she sent without having to delete both. And then it'll be like, well, nah, I didn't send nothing. That's the only thing I sent was yeah. saying thank you for the kind words. Yeah. So they try to make us make her feel like she never saw anything. And what I'm saying to you is just because he's showing y'all the nice, friendly right. messages. Right, doesn't mean he sent he didn't send, send another other mess messages. Yes, that he like what you later thought deleted. you saw. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the other part that to me made him seem like Oh, he must be lying. Yeah. Because when you when y'all first were talking about it, it was friendly at the yeah, table. Yeah, it was friendly. And then we he all of a sudden said, oh, she's lying. Well, ask her to pull it up then. Right. That's what he said. Because he was her back to there on his phone. No, Remember he was the back there on his is, phone? He already knew he had he deleted it. it. Yeah. He already, he already knew. Knows. So he was trying to make you look stupid. Yeah. Is my well, point. That's very hard to do. I did DM you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
It's two I years ago. No, no, no. It's two That's years ago, not okay. six months ago. But how come she can't see it on her side? Right. Right. There he is. Hit exit. Where's the message? Oh, he deleted it. So, so thank you for clarifying that because I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. I just know that I do remember that he DM'd me and I was like, I don't want any parts of that. I don't mm. want to send him the wrong message because that's how people talk to people nowadays. Like we slide in DMs. We, just we know like that. The it used to be you could just you had to just meet a girl or a friend knew somebody, but now the world is open. All you have to do is find them on Instagram and DM them. Like right. and you know what I'm saying. So it's different. That's how you open doors to like test the waters to see right. oh is she receptive oh you know and then start conversations. I mean clearly. We get this kind of stuff all the time, so we know how it works. So, at the end of the day, I really didn't care. I just didn't want the wrong message to be sent to Sheree. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I was hitting on him or I was DMing him. We mm -hmm. all know in my history, it has gone very left with people lying on me. So, I was like, nope, let me tell her. Let me be completely transparent mm -hmm. because now I see that they are really, like, an item. It's not mm -hmm. just some little fling. It when it was a fling. I was like, oh. She don't care about that. Right. But now I'm like, oh, you care? I need to let you know in case he says something different from what I'm saying. I right. need to be transparent. Which makes sense. And overall, I just feel like it went left for no reason because he could have I was very nice. Like, I was like, girl, it's no big deal. It just means he has good taste. If he was trying to hit on me, like, it just means he has good taste. <laughs> I mean, me, Sheree, Sheree's a beautiful woman. Like, so I wouldn't be mad if I saw that, you know, my man was trying to hit on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Of course you would. <laughs> but no, but I was sitting there thinking overall. I just thought that it was crazy that it went left so quick. And he was I didn't so even hostile, you know. I, I didn't understand why he was throwing the insults. See, I bet she probably accepted everybody's message. Go go to right now. Oh, 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 talking about me? And my thing is, well, I didn't accept it from you, and that's what you said too. Because I was like, listen, when I first said it to her, it was in private. I didn't say it in front of like you know, Sonya's party or mm -hmm. a big group of girls. And I was just like, it's no big deal to me. It just means he has good taste. And if, if that was the case, if he was really trying to spark up some kind of conversation. It was a while ago, so it really isn't a big deal. Are you guys are happy? You're happy? Fine. But I'm just not going to have drama coming back on me because I didn't tell you something. He, um, but he got real nasty real fast. Like he was cursing, mm -hmm. and you know all this that whole thing about Sonya and uh, Sheree trying to create like this false narrative. Like I, you know, I don't like black men, or you know, I'm trying to label black men as aggressive or this, that, and the other. W Listen, I call a spade a spade. If it walks like a duck, I don't care about two years ago. Who, why are you talking about? It? Acts like a duck, quacks like a duck. I'm not gonna apologize because what I said, I meant it. It's a damn duck, okay? If you are cursing at a woman, if you are taking your phone and putting it in her face angry and doing it like that, that is aggressive behavior. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, I don't care where you're from, that's aggressive behavior, man, woman, or, or child. Okay, okay? so and, and to be fair, she said that she felt like you were being aggressive when you walked over to him and you were saying what you were saying. So he started it, right? Feel? He came at me first. So for me, I'm a I'm a woman. You have your man on your arm. Ty was there. Magneta had her man. Um, mostly every girl that was there had their man. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting into this kind of confrontational situation with someone being very angry at me. Can, 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 this is yours? Anger is the key word. And you start cursing. And you start cursing. So if you were just talking crap, oh girl, I ain't nobody telling you. That's not being aggressive. That's just you saying whatever you have to say. But if you're angry, you're yelling, you're shoving th things in my face like this, you coming up, you walking away, you're angry, mm -hmm. doing that multiple times, that is someone being aggressive. I don't care what they look like, what gender they are, or what race they are. That is the definition of it, okay? Whether he meant it or not, that is what it was. So don't sit here and try to gaslight me like I did something wrong. I defended myself, okay? Mm -hmm. You stood up, you were acting a fool, you insulted me, mm -hmm. shoving things in my face, cursing at me, and then I'm not, I'm just supposed to sit there and go, oh, no, Martell, don't say that to me, no. No, I'm gonna meet that fire with fire. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it was even, again, when a woman is alone, mm -hmm. it's, it's tricky, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So for me, I was just like, no, uh-uh. 
I dealt with a lot of that. Yes, of course. I know what it looks like. I've mm-hmm. dated crazy eyes before. Okay? <laughs> I know what that looks like. Mm-hmm. That's why I can call it. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I'm not dating anyone like that anymore. I'm not going to marry anyone like that. Mm-hmm. So the difference between me and Sheree, I've dated dudes. I've d- <laughs> dated dumb dudes before. I've seen that behavior. Mm-hmm. And I learned from that. Mm-hmm. And so I was just hoping that Sheree can do the same thing like we've been we're too old we're at this big age we don't need to be making these same mistakes learn girl this is what it looks like now you can deal with it you can see it for what it is you can let somebody show you who they are and you believe them or not okay so and 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 this is not neither here nor there but i'm just gonna ask this question Mm -hmm. because we are on reality tv and no we know that when we date people or we bring people on the show who are not necessarily signed up for the show. Yes. Things that we say obviously can damage their mm-hmm. careers or whatever, whatever. So do you ever feel like a sense of, like, let's just say, for instance, if you felt that he was uh, aggressive, that maybe I shouldn't say that because we got the cameras watching and we know how that can turn into other things. How about you don't act that way? Don't make me respond. be responsible for your behavior, your bad behavior. Don't put the blame on me. You're victimizing the victim. So you change your behavior. You apologize because, hey, you everyone gets angry. Everyone can can say something they don't necessarily mean or do something in, in the moment that mm-hmm. they regret. We all have been there, mm-hmm. you know, myself included. Mm-hmm. And, but I would be the first to say, you know what? I went too far. I was being this way, and I'm really sorry. Don't try to turn it around on the victim and weaponize my honesty and what I saw you do mm-hmm. instead of just taking ownership for it. Okay. Listen, I have learned so much and that's why this time around me dating, I'm looking for the signs. As soon as you show me who you are, I am going to believe you. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you're insulting a woman and for no reason and saying all kind of crazy stuff, it's, it's, I mean, I already know who he is because I've watched his show before. <laughs> I didn't. So <laughs> I did. I, I was a fan of the show. I was a fan of the show. It was a great show. Yeah, like I watched it from episode one Ooh. when his wife Ooh. at the time told him says something about if he didn't care about the penis, he should have kept the penis in his home. Basically, Ooh. he was out giving penis out to people that weren't in his home. Hence, why he has a baby outside his marriage. Mm-hmm. So listen. That's what I know about him. Let me say this because a lot of people have said this too. Oh, Kenya's just jealous. What am I jealous of? Are you serious? Every time I have a disagreement with someone, people go, oh, she's just jealous. What the fuck do I have to be jealous about that relationship for? All dick ain't good dick. Preach. All dick ain't good dick. (laughs) I don't care how he's slanging it, throwing it, busting it. All dick ain't good dick. Yeah. That's the dick I don't want. Ain't never wanted it. Never will want it. I don't care if I'm on the last person on earth and I'm sitting up there and I'm playing with myself with some candy. Bedroom uh, candy. Bedroom candy. I will take bedroom candy over that dick any day. Hell no. <laughs> Stop it already. Damn it. That is annoying when people be saying, <laughs> oh, she's just she's jealous. Making, she's jealous of what? Oh, what? Are you serious? Like, stop Stop it. That's so juvenile to me. Like, figure out something else. Like, jealousy is not a part of my vocabulary. I celebrate everyone. I always give you your flowers. I love your relationship with Ty. Tell me I'm jealous of someone that's successful in their relationship. (laughs) Wait a minute. Tell me I'm jealous of Candy. (laughs) Don't tell me I'm jealous of Sheree and her men. Do I look stupid as Sonya and I had the little talk about... That was funny. That was funny, right? (laughs) That was funny. So what did you do? When she sat up there and was talking to you and said that I was ghetto, what did you say? Yeah, I just was like, okay, I just feel like. y'all are cool. You know, you vacationed together. Yes, I really like Sonya um, after she and I had um, the vacation together um, after season one. Yes. I felt like during season one, I was kind of like filling her out. Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah. you know, when we went on the vacation together, I did invite all y'all. I asked y'all, did y'all want to go? Yes. So don't say that I didn't invite nobody else. I invited everybody. She she, she said she did. wanted to come and we had a great time. But I just kind of feel like, I mean, it's obvious. Well, maybe I'm tripping, but it's obvious to me when during this season or watching her around Marlo, watching mm-hmm. her around Sheree or Courtney, yes. 
Yep. I definitely feel like she, she's taking sides yes. or she does playing their side more. She does. And I and that's the thing. I constantly go back and forth with Sonya. I mean, you'll see it throughout the season. But there's just, just that element. Like, I know Sonya's a nice person. However, I feel like her relationship with them is more important than her relationship with anybody else. Mm-hmm. And she just puts on blinders when it comes to the things that they do, but mm-hmm. wants to call us out on every little thing that she think might have some weight to it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, girl, I, it's just, you know, I want to, it's like, you want to like you in this room, <laughs> but you, <laughs> that is not how it's supposed to be. I am so glad <laughs> that they, you know, because the, the um, producers will get you. I mean, get to no. I, no, I, I, because she said she took up a minute and they show her like, <laughs> no but see the mark of a real friend is not what you say when they're there it's what you say about them when they're not, not there. there okay exactly so, cheers to that cheers yes I, I think the fans have seen and heard about not only just Sonya but also Sheree that they're always on the wrong team well they say that about Sheree a lot Always. Always say that about Sheree. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what the fans are saying. That's not what I'm saying. Speaking of the fans, I would love to know how the fans feel about uh, Sonya saying that they was ghetto. When she sat up there and was talking to you and said that I was ghetto, what did you say? So what were you saying when she said I was ghetto? She was like, well, I didn't really think... I don't know. I don't really think she's saying that you're ghetto. Of course, that's what she I think she thinks she that your fans, your followers, are girl. Ghetto. That's syntax. Like just that's stop. what she said. Just stop. Don't. It's just it's I'm mumble just jumbo like, at that point. I was like, that is what she's saying. What else could she be saying? Yeah. <laughs> what else could she like, be saying? I mean, I'm confused. You know but confused. even still, I didn't. I didn't appreciate that at all. And no matter what context you put yeah. it, because in my mind, I. I this whole thing didn't even yeah. make sense to me. Especially when I saw what um, Courtney said. I'm like, okay, so she's saying... Did she say the like week she, <laughs> Was she like, well, you know, when I, when Candy retweeted that, all the ghetto people came out. On her Instagram, oh. the crowd, the next week, ghetto. I, I just didn't understand. I, so in my mind, I was like, okay, is she saying I was the only person that... Was responsible was for, for people, people coming out? <laughs> So nobody else that went to that restaurant brought people out but me. Yes. I was like, I don't know if that's necessarily a, a, a diss or a compliment. Right. Like, what is it? Yeah, because like, I don't care. If, y'all should be happy that people came to support the right. restaurant. Right. Not, you know, like, if, you, if you can say that everybody that came only came because of me. Well, you should be happy that you had some people to come and support. It's just quite ironic that she's always like... Ghetto. They're always in this group where people are talking about you or me. Like, it's just weird. You ain't got no receipts. You ain't got this. You ain't got that. But then, on the other side of that coin, I saw... uh, But you know, when the tweets are happening, I'm watching the RHOA hashtag. Right. And Sheree was repeating everybody that said that we we only talk about her. That's what she said. They're who? We who? She's saying that everybody, she's basically... Me she's and you to, or... Well, she's saying everybody. Oh, all the people only like, talk about her? Yeah. This is the first time in years you've trended. Like, stop. <sighs> she trended last year when she was, like, I have a record for trending every Oh, day. my God. No, Why I do? She keeps up with the trends I, and everything. I promise you, ask Bravo. <laughs> oh, my God. I am the most trending housewife of all time. Are you? Yes, I am. What? Yes. <laughs> no, but it was just crazy, like. Hey, girl, what are you talking about? But again, like I said, she's she's having a good season, a good mm-hmm. moment. She's got her boyfriend there mm-hmm. or her, her entanglement. Yeah. I don't know what it is. They won't say boyfriend and girlfriend, but... They won't, will no. they? And that's okay. Well, that means they're just not exclusive. When which you, is fine. You, which is fine. Which is fine. You're yeah. dating. I'm, I'm all good with that. Right, right. I'm right. on that train too. I'm good. Yeah. You know, claim me when I know that I've done a clean search. Right. And I know there's no one popping up. Speaking of, no, they talked about you dating. <laughs> Are you still dating the same person? Are you dating other people now? Like, you like to know. You have to watch the episodes to find out. Child, <laughs> I'm asking for the people. The people, people want to know. Watch. The people got to watch, honey. I'm, I'm happy with 
happy to be in this place though. Like I feel like I have been freed mm -hmm. because before I was like, well, no, it's not time. No, it's not appropriate. No, it's you know, it's not right. And that was four years ago. Okay, friend, I have to say this. <laughs> I do have to ask this question because I know everybody was like, you have the longest dragged out divorce in history. Yes. What? Why? Okay, so I'll try to make it in short bites so you can understand. When I initially filed in 2019, that was for custody. Mm -hmm. That wasn't for divorce. Normally, people file for divorce and custody is wrapped up in one. one right. So it's a quicker process. I wasn't ready to be divorced. I was mad because I was trying to keep me from filming with Brooklyn. Right, and right, that was right. my right to because I was, I she you know, she lived right. with me. I was her... Uh, so, primary, mm -hmm. um, primary, what are, what are they Caregiver. called? Caregiver. Primary. What, well, custodial I'm, parent? I think it's custodial parent. Primary. I, can, I forget. My brain is fried. So you're up. like what Marlo is for the boys. No, yeah. bitch. <laughs> no. I'm Brooklyn's mother. Okay? <laughs> I'm not a contemporary assignment. Oh, my Lord. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, sorry. I just snapped. <laughs> so at the time I had primary and I always have primary physical custody of Brooklyn meaning she has always only lived with me mm -hmm. full time mm -hmm. so it was my right to be able to sign any school papers or documents or mm -hmm. school trips or whatever and even film me in mm -hmm. the state of Georgia and most states mm -hmm. so he was trying to take that right away from me however I was not ready to let go of my marriage but mm -hmm. I wanted my rights to my child mm -hmm. and I wanted to um I wanted that to be clear and mm -hmm. don't try to come from my bag this is what I do you knew that before you know we got married so please don't try to mess up what's over here because you had a bad situation so that's what took a while so the custody battle took a, I don't know a year or so then after that, it took me a while to file for divorce. Okay. Now, the reason that the divorce is taking a long time is because of all the shenanigans. What they're at, what the other party, I won't mention names, but you know it is. The mm -hmm. other party is asking for things that they shouldn't be asking for. I'm like, I'm not doing that. And just delaying, switching attorneys, just all kind of stuff that mm -hmm. is delaying, delaying, delaying. But now we're going to trial. Because mm. the mediation didn't work this week or last week. And now, unfortunately, because no one wants to be reasonable in this situation. Well, I want to be reasonable, but some other people don't. And now we're going to go to trial, which is a waste of money. Because all that money could be going toward Brooklyn's college education. It could be going toward the trips to Disney World that I take mm. her on. Going to the red carpet premiere of The Little Mermaid. That yes. costs money. Where do you think this money is coming from? <laughs> Why am I putting the money in the legal system when I could be giving it to our daughter? Right. You know what I mean? So for me, just, yeah, just Move focus on. on the child. <laughs> yes. Like, just focus on the child. So I'm just praying to God that it'll be over, you know, hopefully in the next 60 days. So That's my prayer. Okay. Yes. Now, I didn't want to skip this, but I'm just going to touch on it a little bit. Um, yeah. Drew was not in episode one, but she was in episode two. How did you feel about that? We really are in a good place. We're doing music, and I feel like for that, we're in, you know, the best place we've been in, I think, in the whole eight years. Um, I missed her in episode, you know, one. I didn't like that Ralph was there. She wasn't there. Like, Ralph, <laughs> you're not the housewife. Like, why are you here? Your wife is here. She's the housewife, you know? Mm -hmm. And Drew works really hard at her job. You know, she tries to come and, you know, show her life. And it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Wherever it takes you, it's interesting. Right. I just feel like she's not keeping it 100 with us. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So uh, I missed her in that. And mm -hmm. I, I just, for the record, I feel really bad by what she's going through. Mm -hmm. um, it just broke my heart, you know? And I know we had done, we had been done filming mm -hmm. but the first episode i'm like wait a minute the if your wife is having a family issue you're her family you need to be right. with your wife so it's funny how that was like a, a foreshadow of things to come actually the studio is our happy place okay good. like this is probably where we need to do all our dates like it's, oh, okay that's dope. it's a connection yeah the crazy well i wouldn't have at that time i definitely would not have thought that they would be here right now no not at all no because i felt like they were fighting through the tough mm -hmm. part. I know my love ain't it different. When we switch in positions, ain't gotta ask me who says it, cause you already know.
The crazy thing is, I feel like this divorce bug is like yes. running rampant <gasps> through all the franchises. Yes. And I'm like, Lord, please Kim and keep Coin. missing me and Todd. Yeah, they were asking your guys' opinion on that. What do you think about Kim and Corey going through what they're going through right now? Listen, as we know, I'm not a fan of Kim. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fan. She had a, what appeared to be a husband who was very loving, supportive with her and mm-hmm. in their marriage. And they have all those, you know, beautiful kids together. It breaks your heart when yeah. a marriage falls apart. E- even if I don't like her, that is a marriage mm-hmm. and that is a family. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for me to sit back and watch it fall apart like that. Yeah, I hate that that's happening. The I Eva, hate it's happening to everybody. Eva, it's like, oh, what? I was so upset Girl, about that I one. almost I like literally fell to the floor mm. because I you know I ain't going to eat all their kids are damn best, best friends right you know and I'm like no I was so heartbroken when I tell you I was heartbroken because in my mind listen I don't know what goes on in people's marriages I know that I like Mike and I know that I love Eva and mm-hmm. I adore their kids I would do anything for them mm-hmm. and to see them even when they were together it was just it just seemed like it worked mm, it did. you know the yin and the yang they were just two their opposites but they just worked together yes and i see how he was always kind to brooklyn and eva loves brooklyn mikey loves brooklyn mike mm. mikey will get you together <laughs> over brooklyn. and i'm just like even martin all of all of her children love brooklyn so much and when i saw that i was like no. Yeah, I was them. I was feeling the same way too. I was like, what? I was crushed. I was yeah. crushed. When I tell you, I'm still not over it. Mm. I don't even want to have the conversation with her because I am so devastated by that. Mm. Honestly, I am because I I was like, they're gonna make it. They are in love. Well, hey, we can still keep our prayers up for all of them, right? Yes, prayers up to all of them. Honestly, mm-hmm. literally to Kim, to Eva. Um, you know, we watched Cynthia go through it. Yes, it's like. Yeah, we better not ever see you. I, I, would just I better out. not ever see me over there. That's why I'm like, no, you better figure out this stuff <laughs> out because I don't want you to be over here. I'm reading about you on TMZ. Okay, so let's get back to what happened in the episode. Okay, so we talked about uh, Drew. We talked about Sonya. Um, did you give your opinion on Courtney yet? No. Courtney? Uh- <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? I mean... <laughs> no. You know that's how she is. <laughs> and then it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. I think it's gonna get worse for sure after I looking was trying at the to help her in week. the next week. Like mm. the next week. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to help you. Well, it's and definitely gonna get worse for she and I. Girl before it gets, ever gets better. <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets worse. Okay, well I gotta bring it back to because we're back to the Sheree situation one more time. Because <laughs> okay. you and Sheree had a conversation at the end yeah now the thing that i found to be weird is that earlier in the episode martel acts like he didn't remember seeing you sending you a a message he never sent you a message then he went oh oh yeah 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 i found it yeah 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 i did send you a message and making it like it wasn't a big big deal whatever right but later in the episode sheree says oh he told me (laughs) he told me or did she say the interview? Interview. I think it was an interview. When I first met Martel, we literally talked about everything. So he told me about that, you know, one time he had uh, DM Kenya. She said she already knew about the message. Later. The interviews come months later so you can get your story together. Right. Right. She claimed to have already known about the text messages. That's why I was very low key and funny with her. Like, girl, what did it say? And that, oh, it wasn't a big deal. Which I find it to be so crazy that y'all played so... Upset. He was looking hey. for her. Oh, she's saying that you yeah. tried to. That was it. Upset, and you didn't know, and, and I didn't what? And I, I guess with no, someone accusing you of something, I guess you can um, defend yourself. I'm not yourself. accusing you of anything. Go to her messages right now and see. I bet she probably accepted everybody, man. How and and even daring you to find the message, right. but all of a sudden he already had told you about the message before. That was Tom. a cover up. I mean, come on. It Cover was- up. <laughs> he didn't tell her. Get either. your stories together. All right, so how did you feel about your conversation with Sheree? Everybody and their mama had something to say. She's not selling anything. It was fresh. 
frustrating because all I wanted her to do is have her friends back. I know that's your dude or guy you're dating, but wrong is wrong. And at least just say, you know what? He was out of line. We dated guys before that. I don't, I like this guy. I hope that's not who he really is. And it was frustra frustrating to see him behave that way with you. Mm -hmm. I would have loved Sheree even more. Bet you answer them all too, something like that. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Go to her messages right now and see, I bet she probably accepted everybody's message. Every time we're in a situation, remember Miami? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to talk to you all day. You've been really weird. You have made other people feel uncomfortable here. I just want you to leave. This is crazy. A few minutes ago, Kenya was flinging her dress at Glenn. Now she wants to kick him out like he's the boogeyman. Which is it, boo? Hey, Glenn. Glenn. I'm not saying that any man should ever disrespect a woman. The Kenyan added fuel to Glenn's fire. And I was like, no, he's crazy. And she was like, oh, you just this, you. And then with Bob, and then with, remember she, um, she had crazy eyes uh, back. Uh, Matt, remember she, she like did? she was trying to say that I was at fault for him oh, doing the things he was doing to me. Right. So I've seen her do this for at least years yeah. that I've been around her. So it's nothing new. But I thought maybe she would have grown, evolved, and have you know admitted when someone is is being inappropriate with a woman mm -hmm. in her presence. Mm -hmm. Take up for the woman. Mm -hmm. You are a survivor of domestic abuse. I am a survivor of domestic abuse and domestic violence. Have the girls back for once. Okay. I mean, he didn't abuse you now. We don't want to no, say. No, I'm not. I didn't say that. Well, I'm just saying because people automatically are going to compare it to. I'm you know saying, saying that we have been through very similar experiences right. where we have had men put their hands on us. We have had men be aggressive, mean, nasty, uh, verbally and physically abusive. Recognize when someone shows you signs that they are not speaking to you in the manner in which they should be speaking to you. I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. Behaving in a manner that they should not be behaving in. Hey, I'm sorry. Yes. Did you just curse at me? I said, what did if you I, say if, to this queen standing in front said, of you? Yeah. Recognize that. Because he Don't did blame pop your off girlfriend. first. He right. popped off first. He did, of course. He definitely popped Don't off first. Don't blame your girlfriend. Right. What did you do to make him break out your window? Don't, no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Girl, is this what's coming out your mouth? We're sisters. Yes, 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 Come on, yes. you got to be my bro. Yeah. Bros before hoes. <laughs> she said hoes before. Wait. <laughs> Bros before hoes. Now that was funny. That part. <laughs> okay. So we addressed all that. So I had to go back to this other thing. And I want you to know your opinion on it. Because they've been saying this a lot in the press. Sheree and uh, Marlo both. Um, from some of the clips that I've seen online. Were basically trying to say they had to make me work and I don't work and this, this and that, which brings me to the scene at my restaurant. Now, first of all, in episode one, I mentioned about the restaurant. Yeah. You, having, did. you talked about right. having the issue in the restaurant. Right. Mm -hmm. So when, and at this episode two, when Eric, our executive producer for this season, mm -hmm. We are sitting, I'm sitting there, me, Todd, and Melvin. What up, what up, what up, what up? Uh -oh. What's going on? What's the oh, What's going on? Oh, man, what's going on, man? Nothing too much, nothing too much. How y'all been? I'm good. Oh, How you feeling? It is what it is. Melvin still had the sling yes, on his arm. so it was recent. Yeah, it was still yeah. recent. <laughs> He didn't break any bones the bullet went through. Right. But still, he was dealing with a lot of nerve damage and different things he was dealing with. Yeah. My whole thing is, when somebody's been through a traumatic experience like that, you don't just put them on the cameras and be like, so, da 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 right. And Eric just walks in the scene and is like, so we're not going to talk about the elephant in the room? What? What you need, cuz? We're not going to talk about the elephant in the room? I felt like... They were trying to, I don't know if they were trying to make it seem like I'm trying to avoid talking about it. How am I avoiding talking about when I've already talked about it in episode one? Well, I have to say this because, you know, I'm going to always be truthful. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was because he walked in, in the, during the scene with the sling on. 
What up, what up, what up, what up? Mm -hmm. So maybe you could have said, how are you feeling? Are you doing okay? I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. What up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? What's the food? Oh, what's going on? Oh, man, what's going on, man? Not too much, not too much. How y'all been? I'm good. How you feeling? It is what it is. Typically, I don't know about you, but to me, when you're in a scene with somebody... You gotta warm them up. Yeah, you like, you don't immediately yeah. Yeah. start talking about something that is... Traumatic. Or traumatic or hurtful or, hurtful yeah, exactly, or whatever. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, man, what's going on, man? Nothing too much. Nothing too much. How y'all been? You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yes, I do know. So, I was just sitting there, like, kind of like, first of all. And then, second of all, I mean, Todd, from the jump, he 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 said that he would not, he didn't have a problem with us mentioning it or talking about it. But nobody's gonna give full details on something that's ongoing, investigation ongoing or investigation or whatever. I think sometimes the producers rush in before, you know, we can just have an organic conversation. Right. And it ha it's happened to me a lot. Like I'm just I'm I'm having an organic conversation. I'm gonna get there. But don't come in. Okay, we got five minutes, so we're gonna talk. Yes. About you know, it's 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 not fair to us because mm -hmm. I don't want to feel like I'm acting. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Let's talk about it. But in my way, it's just like if you're if you if your husband comes home and you're like, uh, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. Some people don't do that. Some people are like, how was your day? You know, do you want something to eat? Can I rub your back? You know, you know, I was thinking the other day when we were talking. You know, you know, yeah. like, you know, it's, everybody has a different approach. Mm -hmm. So let us be. Mm -hmm. And let the scene air out how it's going to air out. If we're going to talk about it, we're going to get there. Yeah. But wait until you see him walking off and then like, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. You know, then come out. <laughs> right, exactly. But, um, but I think a lot, you know, listen, Candy, what? let it be said that this is the team to be on right here. Ah! Okay? okay, the K's. The K's, okay? Let me throw up my side. The K's. You know, it's a nice position to be in. You and I both being the longest running people on this show. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people might have a problem with that when they see all of the blessings that come from, you know, this platform that we're in and the fact that we have been chosen to go out and do other things that mm -hmm. expand our brand to bring, you know, to be, to be able to bring um, food to other people's table right you know mm -hmm. and it's a blessing and i appreciate having the platform to be that blessing to other people and some people don't like that they're not getting those other opportunities yeah! or their yeah. brand isn't as big or whatever you want to call it well speak on it you mm -hmm. know so just don't pay attention to the haters just keep doing you and we just have to keep focusing on our families mm -hmm. and um and, you know, just being able to help other people and employ other people. Because sure. I love to employ other people. Me too, girl. It's such a, a ama an amazing feeling. Preach. So, it is a blessing. Not only are we going to get a bag, you get a bag, you get a bag, you get a bag. You don't even have it in your heart how to help other people. You get a bag, you get a bag, you get a bag. <laughs> She's for herself. So yes. please tell everybody, Kenya, what are you excited about? What's coming up next? Everything is coming up next. Um, I mean, you'll see it play out on the show. So I don't know if I should tell people now or later, but I did just get some great news. It's not shown on the show. The Kenya Moore Hair Care is going to be in 15,000 new doors. Woo! Yes. Woo! So it is, it is exciting. Um, it's a different line mm -hmm. um, than what I have out now um, in a different form. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited. I can't wait to like make the real, like the big announcement, but mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm so grateful to be here. You know, I'm following my passion and my dreams and like everything is just like coming true and mm -hmm. I have the support of the fans. If it were not because of you, I would not be here. So thank you for just like, having my back you know and just being invested even not only in my businesses but my personal life and my child's well-being um thank you for all the love so thank you yes thank you okay i got one more question though and i know <laughs> i said that was gonna be like how do you feel like the um, how you've evolved do you feel like at one point it seemed like you were always the villain oh yeah but now things are totally i was <laughs> Watching. <laughs> I was. Oh, I think a lot of it. I wasn't given, uh, given a fair edit. You know, and I, I think that it could go one way or the other, and the way always went against me. Mm. You know, and, um, and I was the newbie on the set, and you know, 
it was easy to go with your your faves mm -hmm. and not the newbie. Um, and uh, so I feel like just in the last couple of seasons, when I was able to be around other housewives mm -hmm. and people could really see what I was really like and I wasn't like really trying to hurt people or drama. I was always defending myself. Um, and other projects, you know, allow people to see you in a different light. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. that was... I feel the turning point mm -hmm. and um, and I was just chasing my happiness you know mm -hmm. I was just in a different after the divorce all that stuff going on and and um, I just feel like you know I get to show who I really am mm -hmm. yeah. well I feel like the happiness is shining through honey. <laughs> definitely well thank you for thank coming you. on I do want you to come back okay at the a later end. episode okay cool all right and thank the case. you the K. Hey. <laughs> Make sure you're following both of my YouTube, well, all three of my YouTube pages. Well, oh. all of my YouTube pages. All of her YouTube. I just don't, I don't even have one. Why? Because I, I just need more help. That's why. Oh, yeah, for sure. Girl. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, thank you for watching. Stick on it. Ooh. Oh, cracked my glass. Ah! <laughs> well, speak on it. <laughs> I know my love and it different When we switching positions Ain't gotta ask me who's is it Cause you already know He love when I look back at it Got him wheezing like he asthmatical